In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a data layer specification which will track custom dimensions for Google Analytics alongside enhanced e-commerce information. So we're going to do an example of a product page. I've already got one here, so I'm just going to go into that and uh, delete what I have already. But um, I'm going to add a product detail impression. So this is the standard enhanced e-commerce script that you would put on a product detail page. But to add a custom dimension, it has to go within this product. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a variable. And let's say we need color. So I'm going to call it product color. And this is going to be a string. And the, the key we're going to call, instead of calling it color, I'm going to call it dimension one. Now this is assuming you've already created a custom dimension in the Google Analytics admin area and that the product color is set to dimension one. Obviously you can set this number to be whatever you want, whatever, however your setup is configured. And then for an example, I'm gonna put in red there. So we've now got dimension one. That's how it's gonna appear in our data layer. Once you've created the variable, head back to your placement and I'm gonna add the product color to this block. Can see there it's been added. I'm going to set this as a required field because I want it. To, um, want to make sure the developers implement it. And you can see now that our dimension is in here, but it's in the wrong place. It's not under the products um, parent. So to do that, under this parent column, you just need to change product color to products. And now you can see that the dimension one has been put under there. So let's do another example. Let's say as well as color you also have maybe size. So let's do product size. This is a string and I'm gonna call it dimension two. And it's gonna be large. Save that, head back to our placements, onto the product page. And once again, I'm gonna add the product size variable and that goes within our products. So there we go, we've got now dimension one and dimension two. And this one is going to be optional, so I'll leave that. Hit save. Now when you go to your documentation, you'll see that our product detail page now has dimension one and two all set up there. So the developers know to implement it. Now when you implement this, what will happen if you implement um, Google Tag Manager correctly, and this data layer is correctly on your website, then whenever someone visits this product page, Google Analytics will automatically track the fact that the product has been seen what the product is and also the dimension, uh, the size and the color of it. 